Well, they're calling for some accountability here. We found out an internal investigation into this incident is underway because the teenagers who attacked this woman, they were arrested and taken into custody, but they were released just hours later. From the third floor of my house, I heard screams of cries for help. Arch McCowan ran out of his Butcher's Hill home to find his neighbor uh, right by here. And then I, you know, I came out the door and saw her laying here. She had been violently attacked and robbed. It was caught on his cameras near the corner of East Lombard and South Patterson Park Avenue right there. And boom. Puncher kicker. The victim is now speaking with 11 news. Am I going to get shot? Because that you, you don't know that can happen. You know, you don't know. That's what I was thinking. She says they then stole her keys and ran off. McCowan was able to help police track them down. The attackers, a 12 year old and a 14 year old, both boys taken into custody. They were arrested and then within a few hours they were released back onto the street. That is completely unacceptable and it speaks to a breakdown in our public safety system. Saturday, Councilmember Zeke Cohen and the city state delegation sent this letter calling on the Secretary of Juvenile Services and the Baltimore Police Commissioner stating, quote, we are deeply concerned by a recent series of juvenile suspects in violent crimes released shortly after arrest without explanation. They're asking the agencies to find a fix to prevent these crimes and to better protect the people of Baltimore. It's really, really upsetting, really upsetting for me because that was a pretty rough incident for me. Delegate Mark Edelson is also behind the letter in a statement to 11 News. He calls this an operational breakdown that must be corrected with the utmost urgency, adding that the laws and policies currently on the books, if followed, would have and should have led to different results. Baltimore Police tell 11 News that their internal review shows that officers acted within policy, adding, quote, while we agree that the suspects should have been held in custody in order to protect the public, BPD was not responsible for the release of these individuals. The Department of Juvenile Services tells us tonight they're taking this seriously and that the matter is under review. Now, on Wednesday of next week, Cohen has called for a hearing at 1 p.m. at City Hall to discuss crimes like this one. We're now live at Baltimore Police Headquarters. I'm Tommy Clark, WBAL-TV 11 News.